Okay, buddy. Show us that beautiful fish. Wind. The one element that furrows the brow of even the most ardent of fly anglers. It's also the element that's forecast for up to a week for much of the South Island. To offset this hindrance though, the same forecast is predicting mostly sunny for the next few days. I'm guiding young American angler Briar Kelly, and after opening our account with a stunning brownie on a short opening day out, it's on to some more serious backcountry fly fishing. Our first location is a broad and remote valley, carved out by a wild river with robust flows, crystal clear water and a healthy population of brown trout. What do you think of the place? Oh man, this place is incredible, look around. Oh, I think we should go and catch a fish. What do you think? I'm ready. Let's get after it. <laughs> I'm dying over here. I'm ready, man. <laughs> oh, we'll get down there. We'll find one and get into it, eh? Yeah. Stay tuned. Well, we found a fish after about 10 minutes of walking along. Pretty happy in a pocket. Not throw a terrestrial at him to see what happens at that time of the year, so it's always nice to see if his snout will come up or not. He's right there. The fish has moved further left, so Bryce shifts his focus that way. Left ear, well done. Hold well on, buddy. Get into him, no way. They fight good in here, huh? Yeah, they do. Got to get a high rod on him, real high. And I reckon you're going to have to go over there. Going to get you right in behind that rock. So keep pressure on, wind and walk. That's it. Really working him out now. Oh my goodness, I've never, this might be the best fight I've ever had. Yeah. Work hard, you might have to try and find a way to cross, I don't know if you can, because bringing him back is going to be difficult. Yeah, it was always going to happen, bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, it was eight or nine pound easy. I was spent. Like, I fish from a, a serious ass kicking. Yeah, about. nothing like a serious ass kicking to start things off, eh? Yeah, he had us about three or four hundred meters downstream. Oh, big fish, eight, eight that, pound plus. That was rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A few lessons learned from playing them, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get it. Good effort. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh dear me. Ooh, that was a rough one though, eh? Oh yeah, oh, hard start. <laughs> yeah. Big bloody cicada week too. We need one of those every now and then, though. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> the prize is heading down because see a uh, fish just off that rock there. Bit of a scar on his back. Weaving away, it looks like a quite a good size. Maybe a um, chance for redemption. So I've gone from a, a terrestrial to a quite a large mayfly dry. I still think you need to be over him rather than left though. Okay. That little bit of current coming down, hey. Eh? Left, yeah, nice. 
turn on the reel. You let him run, that's it. You want to grab that net? Yeah. And then I'll get him. There you go. Perfect. Hang on. Well done, bud. Oh, buddy, let's have a look. Right. Bit banged up. We've got a big yeah, scar. Got a yeah. Bang on the head there. Yeah. But, but a good, good solid fish, eh? She's a tough lady, though. Yep. Back in. All right. Hiding under the net. <laughs> she doesn't want to leave. She doesn't oh. want to leave us, Mike. She thinks you're too pretty. <laughs> I think so. I think it's you. Yeah. I think it's, she likes the dark hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice no, work. Number one. Nice fishy there. Looks pretty relaxed. I haven't seen him rise or anything, but he's. He looks like he's um, swaying about. And Briar's moving in for the kill. Oh, catch and release. Yeah. Beautiful. What's that story about babies and candy? He said the, the short lecture about playing fish, about getting below them, owning them early. Remember about working off the fish, that's the one. Good. <laughs> I hold it took down. it took less than a minute. There well we done. Go. Owned. Fly's already out. We're good. They, they come I don't know, what do you think it is? Another wee cuddle. <laughs> they just can't resist today, eh? Alright, on to the next. Indeed, sir. Oh, we just took off the top. Yeah. That'll be, you'd be good there, mate. You'd be good there. I can aim a bit left, Dave. That'll do. Yeah, nice, nice, nice.
Well done. Yeah, you got a wee stick stuck in the net, didn't yeah, it? Didn't want the net on No. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at that big fella. Oh, it's just lovely, eh? Nice chrome cutie. Yep, slip her <laughs> away. Next. This fish has refused the cicada pattern, so we're adding a nymph at about 60 centimetres below. That's good. Watching that. Yep. Beautiful. Remember that getting below them if you need to. off again. Unfortunately, the net mesh is jammed in the net corner, net. so Briar opts to try to tail the fish. No, let it run. With the inevitable break off. Good luck. I know. Oh, you can hear the disappointment in my voice too. We were so focused on the fishing, we never even saw this group of kayakers until they were almost on top of us. situation of a bunch of four kayaks come through and uh, potentially stuffed up for a lot of water. We've gone through about three quarters of an hour not seeing a thing and we found one here it was probably a little bit away from where the kayaks went through so we'll have a go at that one. The steadily building downstream wind is starting to make things hard. That'll be closer. Get it? Yeah, go. Those of yours are terrible, aren't they? Terrible. You can't stand I can't up. Even stand. No. And then even when I'm trying to get up, I fall again. Yeah. Oh, you did well. Good recovery.
good for the one on the back's quite good. So those two rocks just ahead of that. Faster cast, harder cast, shorter line and get it to turn over. That's a better cast. Watching it though. Yeah, well done. Bring the net over in a minute. Change the system. I'm carrying the net now. That's better. Well done. Oh, what's the rod? Oh, please? Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Well, that's a, the nicer fish that you've landed so far. Oh, yeah. Um, Just slurp that bug. Yeah, beautiful fish. Beauty. There she goes. Right into the hidey hole. Look at that. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> Just like an eel. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. No, we're getting there, right? right. We're getting there. We Hold are. On. We are. That's a step in the right direction there. It is. fish out feeding. Oh, yeah, he's a pretty good one. I want to be sort of straight above him and only by about a metre. Really get him to come up on it quick. So move to your left a little bit. Just being above him is probably quite a good option here. Out here. Yeah, I think so. Good luck. It's not that far away either, so you don't need much line. You don't need much. Now that's plenty. Don't, not too far above him. Try it. Watch it. Lift. Oh, yeah. Remember what you got to do now? Get out on them. working hard here. We've lost a couple of cracking fish, as I probably mentioned earlier, eight or nine pound, and then one about seven or eight pound, and they were the two beauties. We've got a couple of scrappy fish, but this looks like a better one. And I better give them a net. Yeah, well done. Oh, good fish. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking good fish. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, that's right. <laughs> Slipped in the F-bomb. Beautiful. Yeah, that's, a, that's a better one, eh? Yeah. There you go, big fella. It's, it's turning on, man. <laughs> Yep, above that rock, oh, is he still there? Do you cover it? We can see at least four fish in the shallow run, and Briar is targeting the first. Watching it. Hadn't turned. Right. Hadn't Little turned. And it had a nip at it, I would have waited to see if the dry went under, because it only nipped at it. Right. He's a little left. He's in front of that little gold rock on the bottom. The chair size rock. Oh, gotcha. Oh. You didn't want it, eh? Try again. You stole it out to his right, but if you go straight over him, he gets a good view. There we go. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, the ratio's going down. <laughs> yeah, way down. Quick, too.
rod, high rod, nice work. Get that rod high now and really give it to him a little bit. He's going to go the other side of the big rock, so go towards him. Come and give you a hand with the net soon when you're ready. Yeah, that's better. Well done. Didn't want a cicada pattern, wanted a mayfly pattern. Hauled all over the place and he's down again. He's got boots that are like wearing roller skates on grease bowling balls. That's it. Yeah, well done. Here we go. First jack of the day. Yeah. They're smashing them now, eh? Yep. There you go, fella. He's off. On your little right. Try that. Let's come at it. Go! Good fish. Rod. You've got light tip it, so right. play it well. He smoked there. Oh, bad luck. Oh. Yeah, bad luck. Damn. Damn it. Out to the right more. Just might have caught a bit of drag at the end. Try it again. again? Yeah, why not? Just over him. That'll do. Big fish. That's it. Well done. Right, there we go. Well done. Fire me out over here, man. Yeah. Oh, well, Brian, that's a nice fish. Yeah, you about ripped my forearm off, this guy, this fella. Beautiful. There he goes. Big old green back on him. Yeah, yeah. He looks like a big fish, you know, he's not... Yeah. I think in really good nick, he's eight pound plus, but... Well done, buddy. Well, we've I been... might have to drop down, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to drop down. Yeah. Nope. You got him off? Let's get him out, out of there. Well, we've been fishing this backwater. Pain, and there's a couple really big fish lying on the bottom doing nothing. And a lovely bit of angling to um, drop a nymph in straight in front of him as he was cruising past, and he ate it. And we've been. This other one's cruising too. Yeah. All through this shit here. Yeah. Yep. I'm wondering if I just make a jump. It's a good fish. Oh, it's a lovely fish. It's a lot bigger than we thought. Yeah. And he was smaller than those others, so they probably are doubles. Yeah, I think so. Ooh. You don't overdo him now. You've, you've got him pretty good. Well, I can suggest if you can, lead him slowly upstream. Okay. Into there. Good idea. That's it, good work. Lift his head. Yeah, boy. There we go, buddy. Well Ooh. done. 
And I'll tell you what, those other ones are huge. Absolutely huge. Yeah, they're huge, because that guy looked half that size. Yeah. And what's he about? Seven, maybe. Six and a half. Yeah. They always look bigger off a bank, but... All right, we'll get down onto that flat on the other side, eh, and... Okay. And release. Talk us through that one. Oh, hell of a fun battle there, huh? Up on the cliff, and... Took, took us under some clay. Had it all on that one, eh? Yep, and I think just dropping that little cast in. And, oh yeah, um, I forgot about the take even. Yeah, yeah. The dropping that little cast in, we just saw him cruising by and he was probably, it looked half the size of those other big ones lying on the bottom. Oh, jeez. I just want to go peek at them right now. <laughs> just watch them for a bit, even if they're not going to eat. Yeah, just one of these. Just a tap on the rod. That's the one. It's been a fun and at times challenging day battling the wind. But with the sun shining and plenty of fish to the net, it's hard not to smile as we make our way back to camp to rustle up a feed and chat well into the night. It's a stunning morning that sees us off downstream a short distance with a plan to fish back past camp in the hope of more large browns rising to our drives. With the wind forecast to build again to strong and downstream by mid-morning, we're keen to make the most of the gentle breeze we're currently facing. Uh, we found a trout um, after about half an hour, they didn't really start feeding yet, right down in here. I've seen it elevate a couple of times, it's quite hard to see earlier on but the light's improving and um, Briar's going down there to get himself into a good spot to have a cast. So that'll probably do about there, eh? Okay, watching that. Go! Oh, yeah. yeah, let him run. High rod. Bit of a delayed set there, but hopefully we, we attach well. Follow him. Lucky's jumping, you use a bit of energy up. easy on him, you've got a fairly good control, just stay below him. Beautiful. Well done, mate. 
Yeah, it's a nice fish. These are pretty fish, yeah, very healthy. Yeah, we had a few problems yesterday with um, netting fish with an unfamiliar net and a few little issues, but um, so I'm the net man today. So that's a, probably the best fish we've got quality wise. Beautiful. Hooked yeah. a few bigger ones, but it's good. That's beauty. Well done, mate. He went, out, he went up a couple times, eh? Oh, he jumped, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Three or four times, actually. That's a stunning trout, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. There you go, big fella. Oh, look at the power there, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. Whoa! Right, uh, Straight through the chute. That's what you like to see. Yeah, buddy. Hell of a way to start the day. Yeah. Refused the cicada. And now we're trying to get this um, on a nymph. He's gone to the right. Hopefully he doesn't see it. Get lifted out. Push left, buddy. Push left. Watch the flies in the air. They'll tell you where they're going to go. That's a better error. That's a better place to make an error. Yeah. Okay. So bring it back from there now. That's where you want to start. Get a loop. Oh. Watching. Yeah, you're missing either side at the moment. A little bit left of that. That loop, you don't have to be too far up. That's better. Should get an eat now. Watching that carefully. Oh, lift. <laughs> After all that, it eats a freaking dry. Well done. No, it's not as small as you thought. No. It's gonna run you around the rock. You wanna grab that net real quick? Yeah, well, you, you watch him and I'll... Okay. I got it pretty well. Right, this one. Oh. Here we go. Well done, sir. There we go. Two for two. Yeah. Nice work. Let's check her out. Yeah, not as, you know, not a bad hen fish. They're a bit battered, these guys, but. Well done, bro. With your bloody bright shirt. <laughs> you like that? I know you like that. I don't. Huh, I don't like it much at all. The wind's building again, but Briar is up to the task and nails the cast. Yeah! High rod, high rod on the reel! What size is he?
Hold on, Sue. Slurped that one pretty good, eh? Dude. Not a bad day to be doing it. Oh. Fucking beauty, mate. Let's have a look at that. Oh, that's a lovely fish. She's long. Beautiful hen, yeah. Yeah, man. Get her in. Yee, buddy. It's quite a lazy fish, this one. Yeah. Targeting this brown that's nymphing hard towards the main current with two small heavy nymphs. Crouch a wee bit, get up on your feet and crouch a wee bit. Get him in here, I can knit him. Beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. yeah he's oh, not yeah. quite that big, but. No. He's, he's a seven and a half, eh? Maybe? Yep. Whew. Well done, sir. Oh, that was nice. That was fun. That yeah, was I had real to come and knit him for you because he was, um, we just had that shot then. I was going to give you the net and I thought, no, I'll take it. Right. Beauty, mate. You can tell he still has some serious power. Yeah. Oh, that's probably the best of the trip so far. Yeah. Well done, my friend. Good angler. Just still not. I think that half a metre to the right is the sweet spot. going to be left. All right, that'll be okay. That's good. Watching this. Yep. Oh. Problem was, again, it was just angling to his left. Ah. It's a seriously big fish. In a difficult place, but... Briars coming down the bottom and a couple of big nymphs, big heavy stuff on there and a little bit of head and see if we can um, pick him up. There we go. There's a good fish ahead of our targeted one that aggressively tracks the nymphs back before they get to the bigger brown. On the reel. The smaller one took it. I know. I'm fucking Yeah, bad luck. Well, good luck though. Oh, did he bust you on the rock? Yeah. He... Or did it just come out? Bad luck.
we had a nosy. See, now, now it's, make it a bit more force in the cast, and you just get it to the left a little bit longer. Looks better. Okay, watching it. You're on the other side of the rock, I think. Did he bust you? Just pulled out? Oh, he busted. Oh, he busted, yeah. yeah. Shit, he was a spunky little thing. Yeah, fair luck. is really kicking in as we decide to turn back to camp, signalling the end of our time in this marvellous valley. We plan on fishing a different river tomorrow, with the forecast suggesting no let up from the blustery conditions. All we can do is hope for at least some sun, but even that looks doubtful. Still, it's been fun with some nice fish caught and plenty of chances over the last few days. And what more can you ask for? see the depth of him either so kind of interesting but yeah he, he caught eight or nine but you know I, I, yeah, I'd be surprised if he wasn't right up there I'd say he was at least I'd say he was nine for sure yeah. but yeah if, if anyone's curious out there we, we're talking about um uh, probably four days ago where we had a go at a fish and hooked and lost him which is up around yeah between nine I have nine and ten pound maybe but right. deeper to run but anyway reminiscing but we've got a a good day ahead of us, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, weather's clouded up and there's a bit of a downstream breeze. But a few, um, few patches of clear sky here and there. Yeah, hopefully. A little bit. And hopefully um, pick the bit where we can use a bit of height to see into the river. Because it's going to be pretty glary, I think, and pretty exposed to that wind. But we'll see how we get on. Yeah, hopefully a good three days, huh? Yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Let's get out. I think we should ch uh, change this out here. It's a little bit feeling a little rough from yesterday. Oh yeah, we'll fix that up, yep. Got rubbed on some rocks or something. We'll put our favorite 2K nymph on. And yeah, okay. And um, probably a, maybe a, a large terrestrial sort of pattern. Gotcha. Should I keep uh, Han's ring here? Oh yeah, I'm sure he'd be <laughs> upset if you got rid of his ring. <laughs> So we found a fish down here, and uh, Briar's going down to having to go a long way down because we're up on a cliff to have a go at him. And he looks to be a really nice fish. It's only the second one we found in about 400 metres of water, uh, but if you can get it, it looks like it'll be well worth it. 
It went up um, earlier this season from here, about nine and a quarter pound just along here. So whether it's the same fish or not, I don't really know. It's hard to tell from this height and distance, but feeding well occasionally. Watch it onto the water. That'll do. Can you see it? Yep, yeah, good, it's coming up over the top of him now. Yep! Fly rod, yep, let him run. Digging for the bottom. Yeah. Good size. Good casting, buddy. So I try to land him off this. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I might have to go down and give him a bit of a net for you. Eh? Okay. Are you happy to do it yourself, or you want me? Um. Yeah, I'll go and do it. Eh? Okay. Let's see. There we go. Net. Net is free. Well done, buddy. That's some good casting. Thank you. Oh, well, let's have a look and then we'll get them away pretty quick, eh? I don't know if we'll put those other ones in the uh, video, eh? Those oh, little mishaps I had. I'll, I'll have to talk to the editor. Okay. <laughs> no, good stuff. Man. All good right. Stuff. It's really blowing now as we head further up river looking for another fish to stalk. But with the lovely brown already to the bank, it's almost bonus time from here on in, given the conditions. stretch. It's like, it's like quite a nice one, feeding well. A few uh, footprints around a couple of days ago, so we'll see how we get on. Seems pretty happy. Yeah, you just, you see him alright? Okay, you probably don't want to over lead him because you've got a bit of fast water in front of you. So it probably wants to be a metre and a half, you know, say five feet above him maybe. Bad luck. It's always bad luck here for me. Here lately, eh? Yeah. It's 
snap the nymph off too. Yeah. It might have got caught in something. Oh well, thanks. We stalk our way up to a bridge over a gorge pool and Bri has headed up for a bird's eye view at a likely target. It doesn't take him long to find a good shape swaying in the current and hear the large midstream rock. The trouble now is getting to position for a cast and that won't be easy. Here to go for a swim for his trout. Wade up to that rock and then uh, fish in front of it and throw off the bridge. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's always steeper than it looks. OK, does it again. I'm not entirely sure what he's going to do from here. He's got the net with it. Is it good fish, is it? Shit, big fish is the call. That? Pretty tired. Well, net it. if you can, net him, net him. Yeah, buddy. That'll do. So just brought him down into the sun to let him go down here and get a bit of video. That's a gem. It's a big old boy, isn't he? Oh yeah. Yeah, just give him a dirty old grip and grin, mate, and then we'll get him away. Lift him up. That is a gem. Right into the backwater. He actually smells the fresher water that he wants to get in the main river. He does, yeah, there he goes. 
Well done, Fishy. He worked it out, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Oof. Well done, my friend. Hand, hey. Hands are a bit shaky after that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> the chances today were more limited, but the day held just as much fun as the previous ones, with the bonus of a couple of cracking fish. And that's not too shabby at all. Settle into our new campsite for the next few days and eat like royalty under a starry night with the hope of building more great memories tomorrow. Well, buddy, it's um, day two of this section of our trip and uh, a bit overcast, but yeah, we'll see if we can find them today. Your yeah, blue sky is going to poke through, and hopefully, it um, gets better. You guessed it, the wind is making its presence known again. But the sun is shining, and the fish are looking up. So we found the fish. Okay, good luck. Can you see him okay? Yeah, he's been pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, to his left, eh? Yeah. yeah. The fish takes the fly, but there's confusion over the tape, with Brian not sure his fly had been eaten at all. Them. He had that for ages. It's a good fish. You take your time with him. Looking back, I think the fly had sunk and was taken subsurface. You're only on five pounds, so just take it a little easy. Oh, you don't overdo it. Get it turn his head to the turn his head to the net. Well done. There we go. Well done, buddy. No, he's a nice fish. Yeah. On a dry too. Yeah. Kind of an interesting taste for sure. Yeah. He was feeding pretty nicely. Strange taste then. We'll kind of have to look, see what actually happened there. Yeah. I'm curious to see what happened. <laughs> yeah, like he, 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 he may have been one of those ones where he's talking that you were looking at something else. Right, yeah. We'll find out. And then, yeah. he, and then he, he still had it in his mouth, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll check it out. Briar heading over to have a go at this fish that's rising its nuts off. Yep.
off that rock. There we go. Now letting that down already. That's the one. Beautiful. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Nice colors on him. Nice pale yellow, buttery. Yeah. He just sipped it. Check out the snout on this guy. Yeah, you're a big old jack, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got a big old snout on him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, man. Today could be a hell of a day. Yeah, it's going to roll, isn't it? <laughs> Go to that slightly more subtle fly and, and then bang. Right. Let's have a look. He's got some tails to tell that fish, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. Okay. Freedom is his. Thank you for eating a dry fly fishing. <laughs> Stop for lunch with a snooze in the long grass just too hard to resist. And soon our thoughts become dreams and drift skyward. There will be songs that take everything that you believe. And I know that we ain't that far from grace. Just put your hands together now. All too soon we wake from our slumber, with the call of the brown trout too hard to ignore, and soon we're stalking further up river. Sorry, right of that, right of that about two metres. Same distance up. The cast is wide, but the trout hungry, and he moves several metres to take the large uh, dry. Oh, he's coming over. Go. Well done. Quite light tippet, so you might have to just go fairly easy on them. Well done. Uh, this guy, this girl, just turned up again, started going crazy and we threw a cicada at him. Oh, beautiful. I think that's tie, mate. Yep. I think she's in really good condition, apart from a big rub on her nose like she's been caught recently. So sorry about that, lady. Right over, way, the, way over. right over to the near side, eh? Right. Oh. That's what I love about those cicadas. They're forgiving. Yeah, suck a fish out of anywhere. <laughs> right.
still there. Another two feet on that. Yep, go. Yeah. Good man. Big old nose come out. Come off. Break you off. We find a few more fish, including this absolute beauty. But they're more discerning than their earlier counterparts, and window shop our flies, rather than the smash and grab we so desire. Watching it. Oh, wait, oh, he's tracking it still. Coming down by you. We press on for a few hundred metres and find a stunning trout feeding freely in a ripley pocket. He looks big and looks likely to take a dry fly. The large brown dumps the dry before the set, but curiously goes back to feeding soon after. We change from a terrestrial to a mayfly dry and try again. Couple of harsh lessons learned on a really big fish. Oh yeah. But um, <laughs> we got well enough in the bank today to, to constitute a pretty good day, so yeah, that get was, the last one. That was a tough one for it. <laughs> yeah. I'll forget it uh, in 2025. Yeah. Well let's get back home, mate. Eh? Yeah. With Bryce's disappointment palpable. I mentioned a river that we can have a crack at that might just give us the final chance of redemption. And who can resist that? Yeah. He's a dirty fighter, this one. Oh, look at those spots on it, huh? Hey, those spots are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. You saw that nice little flash of the mouth, eh? Yeah, yeah. So watch, 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 and he went down and took... Did you get the little bottom one or the bead? The bottom. He has a little pheasant tail, yeah. yeah. Right down there, bud. Pretty bits, the one. Beautiful. That's a nice He's fish. Thick, isn't he? He's a thick fish, yep. Alright. Well, that's... This piece of water, we worked for the last probably half an hour. And there's four fish in it, all cruising. Yeah, just two tiny nymphs, a really long, probably 18, 19 foot litre. Uh, a tiny little two mil tungsten bead with a little unweighted sort of PT variant behind it. And he just drifted, drifted, drifted. He was going downstream, and you knew that if it was behind him by about three feet, as soon as he turned, 
you'd see it. And sure enough, he, he turned, then he comes over, he went down towards the bottom, boom. That is gorgeous George right there, eh? And I am talking about the fish. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Well, dude, beautifully done. It may well be the last fish of the trip. We've just sort of got to get out of here soon. Bit of a long walk and then a drive out. Nice way to end it. There was about four crews around in this little pool here. Yeah, uh, there was a pretty calm, so we couldn't put anything big on or anything, not even a cicada. And uh, just a couple nymphs, no indicator. All good, buddy. It's been a good one. The fading light brings down the curtain on a challenging, action-packed and ultimately rewarding fishing trip where the wind blew, the sun shone and the fish looked up. <laughs>